Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about estimating the quotient of 3 to 4 digits dividend by 1 to 2 digits divisor with reasonable results. This is our problem. Mang Mario harvested 1,683 avocados. He plans to place 22 avocados in a basket. About how many baskets does he need? The problem is asking for about how many baskets does he need. So, this means that we're going to estimate. Do you know how to estimate? Watch the given solutions. He needs 76 baskets with 22 pieces each and one basket with 11 avocados in the actual competition without estimation. If the compatible method is used, he needs about 80 baskets. If the rounding method is used, he needs about 100 baskets. Which of the two estimation is closer to the actual answer? About 80 baskets is the closer estimation to the actual answer. How is estimation done in set A? What is done to the divisor and dividend? What about in set B? To understand further our lesson for today, let's study the ways in estimating the quotient. The first one is by rounding method. And the second one is by compatible number method. These are the steps in estimating the quotient using the rounding method. Number one, round off the dividend and the divisor to their highest place value. Number two, divide the rounded dividend by the rounded divisor. How to estimate the quotient using compatible number method. These are the steps in estimating the quotient using the compatible number method. Number one, find the nearest compatible numbers of the given dividend and the divisor. Number two, divide the compatible numbers to get the estimated quotient. What do you mean by compatible numbers? Compatible numbers are numbers that go together. For example, 10 and 5. 10 and 5 are compatible numbers because if we're going to divide 10 by 5, the result is a whole number which is equal to 2 without a remainder. So, compatible numbers are numbers which are exactly divisible by one another without a remainder. To fully understand the lesson for today, let's study the following examples. First, estimate the quotient using the rounding method. 3,565 divided by 23. In estimating the quotient using the rounding method, First, round off the dividend and the divisor to their highest place value. So, in 3,565, what is the highest place value? Yes, thousands. What digit found at the thousands place? All right, three. So, the life of three depends on the digit to its right. If the digit to its right is one of the round down digits, these are 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, then the rounding digit will be remained. But if the digit to its right 
is one of the round up digits. These are 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. Then, the rounding digits will be added by 1. So, what is 5? Round up or round down digit? Very good. 5 is a round up digit. So, we're going to add 1 to 3. And 3, it becomes 4. Then all the digits to the right of 3 will become zeros. Next, round off 23 to the nearest tens. And the answer is equal to 20. Then let's divide 4,000 by 20. 4 divided by 20 cannot be. We take two digits. 40 divided by 20 is equal to 2. 2 times 20 is equal to 40. 40 minus 40 is equal to 0. We have two zeros remaining in our dividend and we are going to copy to our quotient. Therefore, the estimated quotient is 200. Another example, estimate the quotient using a compatible number method. 462 divided by 8. Our divisor is a one-digit number, so we're going to find a compatible number to the first two digits from the left in our dividend. So let's analyze if 46 is a compatible number to 8. What do you think? Alright, it is not because 46 is not divisible by 8. What is the nearest number to 46 which is divisible by 8? Let's review the multiples of 8. These are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80, and so on. So, 46 is nearest to 48. We're going to use 48 as a compatible number to 8. Then make 0 the remaining digit, which is 2. Our number now is 480. Then we're going to divide it by 8. So 48 divided by 8 is equal to 6. Then copy the 0 from our dividend into our quotient. If we're going to estimate, the quotient of 462 by 8 using a compatible number method, the answer is equal to 60. Another example, 785 divided by 30. Take the first two digits and analyze if 78 is divisible by 30. What do you think? Alright, it is not because 78 is not divisible by 30. Let's review the multiples of 30. These are 30, 60, 90, 120, and so on. 78 is closer to 60 or 90? Yes, 78 is closer to 90. Then, we use 90 as our compatible number to 30. Then make 0 the remaining digit, which is 5. So, 900 divided by 30. 90 divided by 30 is equal to 3. Then copy the remaining digits from our dividend into our quotient. So, the estimated quotient is 30. Another example. Estimate the quotient using the compatible number method. 3,565 divided by 23. In this example, we will find a compatible number to both the dividend and the divisor. In our divisor, which is 23, we will use 20. Then, we're going to use the first three digits in our dividend, which is 356. Then, let's analyze if 356 is divisible by 20. What do you think? Alright, it is not because 356 is not divisible by 20. 
So, what number closer to 356, which is divisible by 20? Very good. It is 360. Then make zero the remaining digit from our dividend and put it after 360. Next, let's find the quotient of our compatible numbers. So, 3 divided by 20 cannot be. We take two digits. 36 divided by 20 is equal to 1. 1 times 20 is equal to 20. 36 minus 20 is equal to 16. Then bring down 0. 160 divided by 20 is equal to 8. 8 times 20 is equal to 160. 160 minus 160 is equal to 0. Then we're going to copy 10 from our dividend into our quotient. Therefore, the estimated quotient is 180. I hope you understand our lesson for today. With that, just because something is difficult doesn't mean you shouldn't try. It just means you should try harder. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.